Today's first mag is sponsored by Acre. Acre is a subscription-based platform for buying gold. Acre lets you make small monthly payments and once your account hits a certain threshold, Acre will send gold straight to your house. There's a $30 and a $50 option. Each month when your account reaches the price of a 2.5 gram Acre gold bar, Acre will then discreetly ship you a small gold bar every time your account hits that price threshold and then credit any remainder to your next gold bar. So if you're interested in buying gold or simply want to learn more information, you can click the link in the description section of this video. What's going on, folks? It's Coley on Noir, and we are here at the Tac 7 gun range in the great country of Texas. <laughs> I know you like that, don't you? Um, but as you can see, the great expanse of this range is kind of awesome. Um, I don't think I'm ever more happy than being at a place like this in the middle of nowhere. I'm a city boy, but you know, I can still appreciate the open spaces. But joining me today also is one of my favorite rifles of all time, the HK G36. And I've actually done a video on this gun already. I did a, but it was a semi-automatic version and it was a Tommy built version. It was still HK parts, it's just, you can't really get these guns unless somebody puts them together, assembles them and a bunch of law stuff and all the other crap. And you know, HK is not really good at letting us have all their cool stuff. So we got to have to find ways to circumvent that and so forth and so on. Anyway, I have a semi-automatic version of this. I love it. Tommy built, phenomenal job, but I'm never going to pass up the opportunity to shoot a fully automatic version of one of my favorite rifles. And that is the HKG 36. Now, one of the reasons why the HKG 36 is one of my favorite rifles is one, it's light as hell. And I mean light, like it, it just, especially the, especially the C variant, which is their pretty much their compact version. Um, I love how light it is. I love the way the gun feels in hand. The ergonomics are really good. I will say this pistol grip can get a little slippery because there's not much in the way of texture, but throw a little rubber band on there and you're good as gold. I think it's one of the best looking rifles ever made and I mean like ever made. Let's see here. And another aspect about this gun that I love so much is the recoil sensation. It feels, it, and you'll see here in a minute when I go full auto, this is one of the best recoiling guns or rifles that I've ever shot. It, it's just something about it. It's a very kind of, it's a, it's a kind of a hollow kind of a recoil sensation because this gun is pretty much all plastic. Um, but it, it's just different, but it's different in a very good way. Now I can see some people looking at this gun and like, oh, this kind of looks like a stormtrooper gun. And it kind of does. It still has a very, even though this gun is actually pretty old, it it has an almost ageless kind of design to it because it just, no matter what, it just looks new, even though it's old. Sorry, is it All right. God, I love this thing. Here's the charging handle, which is ambidextrous. Let's see here. I'm sorry, I just like doing that. It's just, it's just kind of fun. There's just, there's just elements about this gun. This gun just has a certain genesis qua that really just makes it really fun to shoot and really just fun to own. I'm not saying that this is my go-to grab and get them gun, but it's definitely a gun that will always sit in my top 10 best rifles of all time. And that's saying a lot. All right, now let's go full auto. <laughs> oh, I never 
Logan's old. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh. <laughs> so if you notice this gun shoots so freaking soft I, I, I could just sit on target so disrespectfully and I love it not to mention the way this gun cycles it's not the fastest cycling gun in the world it's like a it's like a sewing machine that's the way I think of it it's like it's like, you know, song machines, it's like, do, 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 do. here, I'll show you. <laughs> it's there is, look, I've shot my fair share of fully automatic guns. And this, this, this is the reason you're seeing it right now, why I love this gun so much. Of all the fully automatic guns that I've shot, this is one of the most fun. The HK MMP, the HK MP5, is a close second or third but this gun man the fact that it just it just <laughs> it's not fair it's not fair this is hk please 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 no you know what i don't even need to do that just just to save yourself the lack of joy in life and go to Tommy built and just go to his page on Instagram and just, just, just get you one of these. Just, just, just find a way to get you a semi-automatic version of these because I promise you, I promise you, it's not going to be your bestest, most tactical gun in the world, but I promise you, you will shoot this gun and you will enjoy it. And I mean, thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> yes! Ugh. Shoot this gun all day. I mean all day. And, it, and not only that, it's light. It's a light. And this is this is the SBR version. So imagine in full size how much easier it is to shoot. This gun, man, it it will forever. I remember the first time I ever shot it. Ironically enough, the first time I ever hold this is the same one. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna try to find the footage of me shooting this G36C for the very first time. It was almost three, four years ago. Now I remember, and it was here. So this is the same G36 that I shot for the very first time, and it made me fall in love with it. I always loved it because it was a good looking gun. I always loved the way the gun looked. It's not for everybody. Some people think it doesn't look good at all. I think it looks beautiful, but by God. You know what's funny also? I, uh, I'm a fanatical player of, uh, break point, break point, um, ghost recon. And one of the guns on there, you know, of course is the G36 and I love using it in the game, but then sometimes I don't cause it's kind of weak, but man, I don't even know why I told you that. But anyway, here's the one negative I will give to this gun, putting an optic on this gun. It has a very, like the height over bore is really high because of this, of the rail top. And, and it's not designed to be a carry handle, even though sometimes I use it as such. It's really not designed to be that way. It's probably not very smart either. Minutes later. Hey, I thought you're not supposed to hold it like a briefcase. Shut up, Peter! <laughs> but nonetheless, I've done dumber things. But it really, when you put an optic on here, an optic that's set on a low, low rise mount, Man, the height over bore is just rather excessive and this gun can start to look a little cartoony really quickly because it'll start looking really top heavy because it, it already has a, it's already set pretty high anyway as far as the iron sights. So when I do run this, the one, that the one, I, ha the one I have, the semi-automatic version, if I do run an optic on it, I'm running a, um, a Delta Point Pro, right? Little red dotty joints that are usually go on pistols. Um, just to keep the profile of the gun relatively low considering how high it already sits. Uh, but other than that, I, man. <laughs> now you do look, as soft as this thing recoils, at a certain point, you, you, you got to make sure your stance correct, like you probably already saw. 
just a minute ago, I kind of started getting thrown back a little bit by it. Um, but other than that, man, this gun just sits. God, I'm gonna get my bullets. Bear with me. All right. Let's do some more shooting. Also on this gun, like I said, it's not it's not an AR platform. It, it, there's some similarities to it, but it's still very much its unique kind of platform. It's not even kind of unique, it's unique as hell, actually, compared to everything else that's out there. Um, even the bolt release, as you can see here, is up underneath the trigger guard, which I think I don't even think it's a bolt release. I think it's just a bolt hold open. So if I drop it here, yeah, I don't think I can release the bolt from here. All right, but I can lock it back, but I don't think I can release it. And so basically I just smack it. So I lock it back, bolt hold, and either coming through here and let it, basically I think that's the only way you can charge it. Um, which it's not ideal, but you hear me complaining? All right, a little bit. And that's another thing. <laughs> this is a reciprocating hand. This is a reciprocating charger. So don't think you're going to be able to put your hand here and not get your hand, get your thumb smacked the hell off because it, it, it's going to do that. So just keep that in mind if you ever shoot one of these guns. Just to either, I either hold out here or you just kind of hold underneath. But I tend to be here because you know me and my Costa Disciple grip. Oh, my God. oh man, they need to come out with a magazine that reloads itself. Yeah, I know that's stupid, but they just do. Somebody, Elon Musk. Huh? I don't know if you're a gun guy. Can you do me a favor? You like to make shit and vent shit and make things really efficient. Can you um, can you figure out how to make these things reload themselves as I'm shooting the gun? Thanks. No. Cool story, bro. Man, I love shooting this thing, man. I literally, I genuinely can sit out here and do this all day long. All day long. Now, that's not saying much because I could pretty much do that with just about any gun because I like shooting. But this gun in particular, it doesn't tire you out because it's not heavy. The rear coil doesn't beat you up, even in full auto. So you can literally run full auto on this thing all day long. It does get a little hot up here a little bit because of this piston system. Um, but by and large, man, I mean, I don't like the proprietary magazines, but HK. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah. I, I, it's crazy how I just realized that this is the same same exact E36C that I shot for the very first time um, at the exact same spot as I did three or four years ago. Nuts. So there you have it, HK G36C. One of my all-time favorite rifles ever. One of my all-time favorite fully automatic rifles ever. One of my all-time favorite rifles ever. One of my all-time favorite HKs ever. Like if, if I had to, like in terms of my HKs, this is in the top five. In terms of all-time best guns, this is in the top five. Yeah, I said top 10 initially, but I'd put this in the top five. Um, I, I just love this thing, man. So. I have a semi-automatic version one and I, I adore it just almost as much as this, but the gun is just a different animal in full auto mode. It just, it just, you get close, you know, the semi-automatic is like you shoot for the, you shoot for the moon to land in the stars or some shit like that. So if you're shooting for the moon, my version from Tommy built, phenomenal stars. This. But it's only limited because it's semi-automatic. But I gotta give him points because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get the damn thing. So I gotta give him stars really, really, really close to the moon. But full auto, this is the moon, baby. Hey, you know, uh, stars are further than the moon, right? Shut up, Peter, nobody cares. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments and even days after you've had to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be scary thinking about the psychological effects, potential jail time, and the court costs associated with the self-defense shooting. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through it, which is why I use concealed carry insurance with USCCA. 
As a USCCA member, you can mitigate, if not completely eliminate, the stress and financial burden of the legal battle you may face after a self-defense shooting. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description where I did a full review of this concealed carry insurance. However, there is a second link in the description where USCCA offers a 365 day money back guarantee, which lets you try it out for a whole year. And if you don't like it, get all your money back. And to help further spread our 2A message, don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice.